If you miss flying and exploring somewhere new, look no further because adventure is often right in your backyard. Here in Ontario, I've always heard about how amazing fly-in fishing trips up north are and fly-in canoe trips. So for me, as an avid stand-up paddleboarder, I dreamed of going on a fly-in SUP adventure. So after one of the longest lockdowns in the world, when travel was allowed again, I wanted to rediscover Ontario, my home province with more than 250,000 lakes, 100,000 kilometers of rivers, and endless wilderness to explore. But more specifically, Algoma Country, a part of northern Ontario with old growth forests, dramatic landscapes as far as the eye can see. I flew with White River Air to Marmac Lodge, located on Esanagi Lake, the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Cree, and Métis. I had the most incredible first time fly-in experience and had unforgettable moments beyond stand-up paddleboarding and fishing. This is a recap of the fun I had during my four-day remote Northern Ontario adventure and why you should consider a fly-in trip whether or not you fish or paddle. There is something for everyone to enjoy. As an avid paddler, I always plan my adventures around paddling somewhere new. Then the idea of packing my sup onto a float plane and flying off somewhere far away, deep in the forest, totally made this a next level paddling adventure. If you don't sup, or don't have your own board, or you'd rather canoe, Marmac Lodge has canoes on site for their guests to use. If SUP is your thing and you have your own board, then you'll be pleased to know that it was a super easy process to fly them in. No oversized baggage check-in. We simply let the Marmac Lodge team know that we were bringing rolled up inflatable boards and that was it. Tip, my paddle life jacket and paddling gear were all packed in my board bag and my clothing was packed in a separate duffel bag. Another tip, to prevent the spread of invasive species, clean and dry off your board including all of your paddling gear before taking it into a new lake. Upon arriving at Marmac Lodge, we settled into our very own cabin. Then we paddled at sunset, sunrise, and pretty much every day we were there. There's no shortage of paddling on Esnagi Lake, a 45 kilometer long lake lined with lush forests and rocky outcrops to check out. And if you're up for it, there are even secret paddling spots to portage into. Okay, so my goal for this trip was to catch a fish on my sup. I heard all about Northern Ontario being a world-class fishing destination and that Marmac Lodge is the fishing lodge that's always featured on all the popular fishing and angling shows, so I had to see all of this for myself. And well, we were totally spoiled. We not only caught fish after fish on our steps, but in the canoe and in the boat, and basically every time we were out on the water. And the best part? We didn't have to bring any fishing gear. Marmac Lodge has a Discover Fishing program, so the equipment was all included. Our excellent guide, Aaron, took us out on their iconic cedar strip boats, showed us all the spots to find fish, gave us tips, and helped prepare our fresh catches on the many scenic shore lunch spots around the lake. While I don't consider myself an angler, the fishing experience was an excellent opportunity to learn about the fishes and wildlife in and around the remote lake, and our guides also emphasize responsible and sustainable fishing practices like leaving the bigger fish in the lake. For all of you pro anglers out there, yes, you can bring your own stuff, but the fishing is not just for pros. Tip, don't forget to register for your conservation and fishing license before getting there. Whether you're at the lodge or on the water, there are countless ways to relax, unwind, and soak in the therapeutic vibes nature provides. Because Esnagi Lake is only accessible by float plane or train, you can truly get away from the crowds, city sounds, and enjoy a quiet and peaceful retreat experience. There's also the wildlife. We saw bald eagles, loons, and lucked out with bears not bothering us during our trip. We did miss out on seeing moose and lynx though, tip. If your goal is to take it slow and relax, spend the night at the Continental Motel in White River before flying out the next morning with White River Air. That gave us a chance to repack our gear, especially since I was camping the days before. A remote wilderness adventure doesn't mean roughing it. The lodge and our cabins were so cute and cozy. We could have easily hung out on the porch, enjoy the views of the lake, watch the stars at night, or the northern lights if you're lucky. The Wi-Fi and cell phone reception are minimal, which was a good thing, which helped to truly disconnect and escape from the city life. The meals were delicious and all came with a beautiful view. The team at Marmac Lodge was warm and friendly and really got to know the guests. It was also great to see and hear about how they continue to make the lodge more environmentally friendly and their work with local indigenous groups. If you don't paddle or fish, I'd still highly recommend visiting Marmac Lodge for the fly-in retreat experience. I brought my outdoorsy friend Alicia and we had a wonderful girls getaway. There were so many spots to explore and fun things to do. You can go for a hike, do some nature and wildlife photography where the eagles hang out nearby, getting out there as much or as little as you want. 
if you're not a fan of flying or float planes, you can train in. Yep, you can bring your sup canoe or kayak on the via rail. The cool thing is you can leave your car keys with the folks at White River Air and they'll drive your vehicle over to the train station so it's ready for you when you get back into the city. As an avid stand-up paddleboarder and outdoor enthusiast, this was the perfect experience to rediscover Ontario by exploring our own backyard, especially to less traveled and paddled spots with no crowds. Not only was this my first time on a float plane and finally landing a fish on my sup, this was an extra memorable trip because of how long it's been since getting on a flight to travel. Fly-ins aren't just for fishing. Pack your sup and get out there.